So this book haul comes to you in 10 different categories. There is on average about two books per category, and that's too many books for my bookshelf currently. I hope it's not, we're gonna try and make room. These two shelves are the books that I have yet to read, and this shelf and up are the books that I have read. I just don't see all the books that I have gotten recently fitting, but we will try our hardest. These books have all come from either Amazon purchases, which seriously hurt my wallet, the holidays, or books that I have borrowed from friends. So let us get into it. The first category is things that aren't books. Dana, what are you talking about? This is a book haul. These are things that are, you know, related to books or book things that I've just really enjoyed recently and that I recently purchased. The first one is a beverage warmer. It is the little things that keep you going in life. I literally have to have a beverage on me every time I read. I don't know why. It's soothing. It's relaxing. It actually motivates me to read more because I'm like, I cannot finish reading until I'm done, like, with my whole cup of tea or my whole cup of coffee. And I just don't like drinking it after it's really cold and I really got into the story and I'm like, oh, I forgot I I had tea there. I keep this on my nightstand, I turn it on, and there's just a lovely warm beverage at all times, and it is fantastic. Next is my Kindle that I got for Christmas. I love my Kindle. I haven't been using it yet, like super recently all the time. I'm still trying to get used to it, but it is nice because you only need one hand, so you can have your tea or coffee in the other hand and stuff, and you can also highlight stuff, and you can do so much. You can see what everybody else highlighted. There's a dictionary in it, which is so nice for me because I always look up words while I'm reading. I don't remember what it's called but it's like the kindle with the paper and the thing you could read it in the dark without a book light and it's just wonderful and the best part about it for me is i'm going back to school really really soon after the 28th i go from 8 to 3 15 and i'm gonna have an hour and a half break between classes so that's gonna be quality reading time and this will be way easier to carry in my backpack than a load of books second category books that i've already read but i wanted to purchase the first one you saw in my december wrap-ups video and that is nine stories by jd salinger i absolutely loved this this book and I borrowed it from a friend so I wasn't able to you know reread it if I wanted to and now I'm able to and I definitely will be rereading it because I absolutely love every single story in here I can't wait to underline things in my own copy the other one in this category is Dreamland by Sarah Dessen. I had to read this for school and it was amazing. I just really, really enjoyed this book. I took an afternoon and I just read through the entire thing. My mom came in to check on me and tears were dripping from my face. It touched me so personally and at the time I related to it so well. Not the boyfriend abuse thing, but just the relations with the sister and the mom and all those things. I just, it really got to my core and I just, I absolutely thoroughly enjoyed this book. I'll definitely be rereading it and I'm so glad that I picked it up. Next category is books for book clubs. I've never really gotten into an actual book club, but these are just things that have recently started this year that I kind of wanted to get into. Graveyard Girl here on YouTube is a makeup guru. She's really funny and has a really obscure sense of style. She started a book club this month and decided that we're reading A Clockwork Orange, which I have been very interested in reading for quite a while. Haven't really gotten around to it, so I picked this up from Amazon. I don't know if I'm going to get into it this month when the book club is actually having it, but just having it in my room gives me more of a motive to read it at some point in time. Me and my friend also started a little something. I let him borrow Perks to Being a Wallflower um, a few months ago. We decided to read every single book that the teacher gave to Charlie during the book. The first one was To Kill a Mockingbird. So we picked that up for each other during Christmas time. I started reading it and I am really enjoying it. Bit of a slow start, I'm not gonna lie, the first chapter was a bore, but it's really picking up. Category number four, foreign books. So one of my resolutions during 2013 is to read a full French novel and fully comprehend it. I have been taking French since sixth grade and I am now in college and I am in my second semester of intermediate French. I've read different translations of books and so far I've read Le Petit Prince in French and in English and I really enjoyed that, but that was during a class and I really want to start doing this on my own. Last year I read the translations of The Stranger and also Dog. They were French literature that was brought into the English language and I read the English versions of them. I bought the French versions of both The Stranger and Dog. I'm gonna read along with my English copies and try and read the French copies and hopefully fully comprehend a novel by the end of 2013. Things are happening. Category number five, Scott's Pilgrim. I've wanted to read the Scott Pilgrim graphic novels for quite a while. Finally got around to purchasing them for myself. I purchased volume one, 
read it. So far, I am in love. And I still need to read volume two, which I also purchased. And I know that I'm already going to have to buy three through six at some point because I'm really enjoying them a lot. Category six, Charles Bukowski. I have heard only good things about this author, and I'm, I'm not going to lie, I don't really know much about him. But I'm very excited to read his work, and hopefully I'll get to it very soon. I picked up Post Office and also Ham on Rye. I didn't pick them up, actually. I got them for Christmas. I cannot wait to delve into them and see what this author has to offer. Category seven. Can I just call this one? I'm gonna call this one books that I've been meaning to read for years now. The first one is Boy in the Striped Pajamas. I have just, I've heard nothing but good things. This has been talked about, this has been raved about. Also, there's a movie, and I love reading the book and then seeing the movie and seeing how they relate and how they are not connected whatsoever. What else? I, I'm just excited. The Book Thief is also in this category. Many people have said that this is their absolute all-time favorite book. I feel like I'm going to end up saying the same things. I've been interested in reading this since like, freshman year in high school. So excited. Category 8, books that I have borrowed. The first one is Delirium. I've read this already, put it in my December wrap-up slash favorites. It was really good. I really enjoyed it. I bought Pandemonium on my Kindle. Can't wait to read that one. I borrowed this from one of my co-workers and it was just nice. It was really nice. The second one I have not read yet and it is A Heartbreaking Work of Staggering Genius. Another co-worker let me borrow this one. She said that it wasn't her favorite book but it is about a college student that's like learning about life. She said that it was an out-of-the-box kind of a book and that I might really enjoy it. She knows me. I love out-of-the-box sort of books. I'm hoping to see um, some shock value in this and I'm very excited to start picking it up, which I'm sure I'll do soon because whenever I borrow a book, I want to give it back as fast as I can. So I really try and read those books first. Category 9, Stephen King. Ever since The Shining, which I read in, I think I finished it in November. I have been craving more Stephen King books. The Shining just got to me. It was really, really creepy and it made you just feel things inside of your head and it just, it crawled inside of your head and it was just, I wanted more. I picked up It from Amazon. I'm very angry about this cover. Amazon told me it was going to be a different cover and usually I really don't care about covers. Like, oh yes, one cover is more beautiful than the other, but you are reading the same book. I'm just angry because the other one was a lot prettier, but whatever. This book is a monster. It is It. The clown one. A lot of people are scared of clowns. I am not. I'm hoping to set apart a large amount of time to read this monster of a book. I don't think I've read a book with a thousand pages in it since Harry Potter. By the end of it, I'm hoping to be scared of clowns. I also picked up Carrie from Amazon because they are redoing the film in March. There is a 1970s film about it and I have not seen that one yet either. I'm sure I'll watch that one before the next film comes out. This one is very short and if I'm not mistaken, I believe it's his first novel? I don't know. It came before The Shining. I know that. The story sounds very, very interesting. Third book that I picked up was Misery. I'm not gonna lie to you. I don't remember what it's about. Let's take a look. Paul Sheldon, author of a best-selling series of historical romances, wakes up one winter day in a strange place, a secluded farmhouse in Colorado. He wakes up to an unspeakable pain, a dislocated pelvis, a crushed knee, two shattered legs, and to a bizarre greeting from a woman who has saved his life. I'm your number one fan. Excited. Last category, category number 10, the other category. These are things that I couldn't really put in a category. Really, they're just there because they're books that I wanted to buy and so I bought them. Or they were books that were given to me that I really, really, really wanted. This one is called The Farm. It is about uh, humans that are put on a farm and basically their blood is used like cow's milk is used. Apparently they all turn on each other at some point and it sounds really good and it sounds kind of frightening and very dehumanizing, which is something that I find very scary. Also, it's a young adult horror novel, which I have yet to read one of those. World War Z, super excited about this. You know why? Because the movie is coming out in June. Duh. If you haven't seen the trailer for it, it looks incredible. I decided that February is going to be my zombie month and I'm going to read this in February as well as see the Warm Bodies movie as well as start watching The Walking Dead on Netflix because all those things just sound like really nice things. Triangles by Ellen Hopkins is her first adult novel. I have read many Ellen Hopkins books. I have Fallout, Crank, um, um, Impulse, Identical, other ones. I've read a lot of her books. To see an adult version of it, I'm quite interested to see what she'll pull out of it. Hopefully it will be good. If I Stay by Gail Foreman, I've seen a lot of this book on the booktube community. Also this author, Gail Foreman, I heard that this author is wonderful by the booktube community. Every review that I've seen of this has been a positive review, so I'm hoping that I will enjoy it. Seems like a light read. Okay, so the last book that I purchased, I pre-ordered back in September. I was really, really excited for it. Last summer, me and my internet friend, Allie, 
are looking for Aliska. We went to the Vampire Weekend concert and it was amazing. They played at the Pitchfork Music Festival and there there was just a whole bunch of tents of nice homemade things. A publishing company was there. They were called Curbside Splendor and ever since I saw them there I've been looking through their website and sort of seeing what they're up to. This monster, The Way We Sleep, was an anthology that they were working on and it came out this December. I think December 16th they gave it out to me and everyone else that ordered it obviously. I've been keeping it by my bedside and it's basically an anthology of a hundred billion different people, not really, just like 20 something, but it's all just stories about sleeping and the way that people sleep and it's so interesting. Not only is there stories, there's also comics. It is one of the loveliest books that I've ever purchased I think and I only got it for like $16. This huge monster for $16 and there's so much product in it. I've been enjoying it so much, I've been reading a little bit of it every night or every morning when I wake up. So good! That should do for now. Hope you guys are having a wonderful week, and I will see you soon. Bye!